What is going on, my guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. We are back over on Ark Survival Evolved. Once again, wrapping things up over here on the Ark Apocalypse cluster. So this was a pretty short season. I know we only had like four episodes in this, but that's okay. We got some uh, other things going on. Um, but yeah, we're going to wrap things up today with a few raids and uh, some good stuff. So, hope you guys are stoked for that, and let's us get into this video. Alrighty, boys. So today we are on Scorched Earth, taming up some golems. I finally found one. This one right here is uh, 130, pretty high level for Scorched Earth. Definitely going to be taking this one. I wanted to get into uh, taming golems because I've never really done that before, uh, honestly. Alright, so I looked this up on YouTube. There's a bunch of pretty good methods for this and this seems to be the best one where uh, we kind of just, oh my spider's following me. Let me uh, leave it there. Okay, and then we're just going to hover right above the golem, and then it should be aggroed on our bird here, and then we can be good to knock it out. So, pretty simple. Alright, there we go. It's on our Tyranodon, and uh, let's get to knocking this out. It's kind of crazy that I've played Ark as much as I have, but I still... I've tamed like one golem my whole time, and it was level 5. So, uh... Yeah, I always felt like they were pretty hard to tame, but, uh, you know, we're going to be doing this today. So right in the right in the face, that's where you got to hit it. So it does that little uh, cover its face animation when you're hitting it in the head. So pretty easy. Alright, and there it goes down. Let's pick up my cannon so I can use it again. Get my uh, tear down. I'm probably going to pl uh, plan on taming two golems today just to have an extra in case one dies. Because um, we got some pretty big bases in mind to raid. And it would have been really hard to raid them with a stego. So I think uh, a golem is a better choice. I also got like a really good saddle in a drop for a golem. So that's uh, another reason I really want to tame one. Let's get this tear cryoed up. Uh, and then we'll check the stats on these. I'm not really sure how these stats scale. I know wild golems have a lot more health than the uh, the golems are actually going to come out with. But hopefully these turn out okay. I'm going to have to use sulfur. Uh, I know that's terrible. But it's pretty hard to get uh, the extraordinary kibble that these need. So sulfur is going to have to do the trick here. All right, so we found a 120 right close to this 130 we got down, which is pretty lucky, honestly. Uh, so we're just going to keep both of these, and uh, hopefully one of them gets a, a good health roll. I'm not sure what is good. I know back on Small Tribes, there's one that everybody cloned. It was like around uh, 17 to 18k, and I don't really think these are going to get that high because I do not have kibble, and so they're going to get pretty scuffed taming effectiveness. But uh, it should be fine regardless. Yeah, let's drop this stuff. We don't even care about these cannonballs or anything anymore. Uh, so yeah. As long as these come out with like, I don't know, 10k? That would be pretty sweet. They should get up to like 20k at that point. And we could soak a good amount of bullets with that. So let's get a little more sulfur to uh, tame up this golem. And then we will be on our way here. Alrighty boys, we got our first golem, and we are going to level it a tiny bit, taking it over to this 4x note. Pretty good method for uh, leveling things. Just gotta be careful I don't collect it with my spider here. So right here, perfect. Alright. Let's hop off here, and toss this golem out. Nice, alright, and this is the saddle I got. Pretty good, uh, found it. I don't remember if I actually found it in a drop or I raided it, but either way, that is going to help us out a lot uh, when we go raid with these golems. So that should get a few levels. We're going to try to get a little bit more, though. 
All right, this should be pretty good. 40 levels on our golem here. This should take it right up to maybe, let's see, 19K. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Uh, we can definitely soak a good amount of bullets with this, especially with this good saddle. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked to get into raiding with these. And there we go. Second one finished up. Level 158. That kind of sucks. I only got like 30 levels, but 10k HP looks like it tamed out at. Not terrible um, for a sulfur tame. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here pretty fast. I'm kind of paranoid about dying with these golems on me. So we're gonna head back to base, stash one of these, and we'll take the other one to go raid. Let's go. Alright boys, so here's the first base. Obviously not too exciting, just on one of these snow pillars on Genesis. Um, but we're gonna give it a give it a try anyway. You never know. Especially on Genesis, people can have pretty good loot. So let's get a little closer in here. I just gotta get up a tiny bit. I was I think I was a little too low there. All right, and I think this should be in a good spot where I can throw out this golem. Yikes. Oh, he's, he stayed, actually. All right, and this is kind of broke. I'll be straight. I feel kind of bad uh, raiding a, a four turret base with this golem, but we're just going to be steamrolling anything we see today. Hopefully, we get lucky and get some juicy loot. All right, and that is it all soaked out let's see here we're gonna disguise that as a rock so nobody knows and uh, let's head into space another boxy tribe okay seems to be the only people that uh, play arc clock anymore so fabricator yikes that is not what you like to see One C4. Yikes. Okay, but there is a vault. Ooh, the fridge actually has some soups in it. I'll take all of these soups. Can't go wrong there. And, uh... I guess we're gonna waste some C4 on this vault. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Probably not. But, I mean, we can't live with not knowing, so we're gonna use it up anyway. C4 is pretty easy nowadays because of Genesis 2, so it's like, whatever. I could craft like a few hundred just from 10 minutes of farming on Gen 2. Oof, rip the base. We're gonna take this guy's fur, because it's pretty cold here. I'm dying fast. Thank you, my man, for that fur. And uh, this should be like one more C4, even though it says 26,000, it's not really. Okay. Seven C4, half of our cost here. Uh, we got a, some cryopods, a drill. Most of this is just Genesis loot, kind of a bummer. So I came over here to this ocean pillar. I just, I'm just starting recording here. Um, I just threw out my golem. This is the corner pillar, pretty, uh, pretty good spot. But these guys, I don't really know if they put a lot of time into their turret towers. So I th I'm thinking we can get in, get in here pretty easy. Man, these turrets have a lot of ammo. They have been uh, grinding that ammo. I've been soaking for a long time. This golem is just about dead. All right, boys, so here is what we're gonna have to do. I'm going to have to go tame up a Deodon because the golem I have is completely out of health and I don't know what else to do. 
I can't really like go, I, I could go get my other date on or my other golem, but I don't really wanna do that. So we're just gonna go to the snow biome really quickly and tame up ourselves a low level Deodon to heal our golem. We'll be right back. His Deodon is just about tamed. These are pretty easy to tame just on mutton if they're low level, especially on these increased rates on Arkpok. So level 120, that will be fine. This has like 7k food it looks like, which I can just buy meat as well, which makes Genesis really awesome for, uh, for raiding. This golem's freaking dead again, dude. I'm like stuck on something. I don't know what it is. I can't walk. I'm just gonna get off. I do not want to lose this golem. I'm not really sure why it's... Might be stuck on that foundation under the foot there. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try to whistle it out though. I think that'll work. Come on. This way. This way, come on, okay. Come this way, come this way. He's super low, he's like 2k HP. Okay, get our Daydon back out. I think this should be the last time I have to heal the Golem. After this, we, we might be able to uh, just get straight into the base. Buy this meat, fill up our Daydon, we will get to healing here. And that is it. We are finally in this base. All right, the generator is way deep inside. We're not gonna be able to get to that. But everything is soaked anyway, so no worries. I think I'll just go straight in through this door. Let's see the loot here. Some adolescent carbos inside of this base. I don't know why. And and we get swamp fever. Perfect. Okay, some blood packs. Ascendant crossbow. Kind of interesting. What's this guy had? Nothing. Take this guy's shotgun shells. I thought these guys would have more stuff. Like, I guess I haven't really looked that much, but on them at least. Yeah, we're gonna take both of their uh, sets of armor off. I don't want them to survive this C4 blast. There we go. Guys are down here. I just want to make sure there's no sleeping bags or beds anywhere. I don't really see any. So we should be chilling. Let's uh get my spider up here, and then we will. Get through some of this loot. I want to see what's in these vaults. I think that these guys are going to have some pretty decent dinos uh, from living up here. Okay, we finally made enough C4. I had to put a fabricator down below and start crafting C4 because we ran out. So let's get to these last... I think it's just one more vault. Yep. So 30k HP on this vault. We should have enough C4 for this. Okay, a few more it looks like. 10k. Come on, come on. These guys had an ammo box even. I wonder if that was uh, filled quite a bit because it took forever to soak these bullets. So, I think four should definitely do it. That's our last piece of C4 anyway. So, the vault. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at those. Look at all those dinos we just got. Juicy juice. Okay. 
what we'd like to see. Snarl Saddle, Tech Claws, Tech Trough, Mini Gun. That's what Genesis 2 will get you. Dude, those dinos though, that's huge. We really don't have very many dinos yet. So we're going to get this Golem. When I'm raiding, I like to be ready to go in case someone like jumps up here. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to wait a sec, but I'm going to get that Golem after uh, we make sure everything's looted. Alrighty, boys. Just finishing up some base upgrades here. We added a few more turrets uh, just so it's a little harder to rocket this base. Um, but like I said in the beginning, this base mostly relies on, like, being hidden as its main defense factor. I definitely don't have it defended very well. We're just putting all these turrets we got down so people won't get them even if they raid us. But it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. We made some good upgrades. We got, uh, some things situated here. Oh my gosh, dude. Is this guy see me? No, he doesn't see me. I'm gonna bowl him. Uh, I should have waited. That dude was gonna cryo his, uh, his freaking wyvern and leave, but I thought he was gonna loot the drop and leave. I should have waited, but whatever. Ah, dang it, dude. Oh, this guy's kinda thick, dude. What the heck? I just wanted to transfer off, but he was, I was just waiting at a drop here, and then he came right to it. Got a lot of stuff on him. He's at, he has crafted flak, which is good. We do not have any, any non-primitive flak, pretty much. Can he kill his wyvern and see if he's got anything on it? I don't think he does, but you know, whatever. He has an ascendant flak chest piece crafted. He must be in a in a big tribe. Looks like he's talking in chat. Freaking trike! I didn't mean to hit you. Don't be like that. I you walked right in front of me. Ouch! All right, we're just gonna go find an. Actually, we're gonna drop this stuff off first, and then we will uh, find another drop to transfer out on. I guess. Back at it again with the raids. This golem is uh, absolutely overpowered. I I should have used these my entire time playing Ark. I just I felt like they're such a hassle to tame versus like stegos and trikes and stuff. But they are so good at soaking. I I don't know why I haven't been using them the whole time. So we're just about soaked where we can jump into this base. Okay, so I'm going to try to do the old jump and parachute into the base method, which I, I think should work. My flak's like about 400 dura, and I got this riot shield, so, you know. I'm going to leave my grapples behind in case I die. Hopefully, I can grapple my body. So let's uh, let's go for this here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Didn't really get that shredded. So 2C4 on the gate. Oh gosh. I'm not really sure what to do here. If I should just tank the C4 blast or run out and run back in. Ouch. I'm just going to run out and run back in. I hope I don't get blown up. So it kind of got shredded on that one. Okay, we are in. Here's the guy. He's got nothing on him. And the smithy. Stuff to fix flak. That's always good. I will do that all day. And my pants are almost broken, dude. Yikes. Okay, at least we got our, our flak fixed up. Um, uh, we'll look through the rest of this base in a second. If you guys are wondering, I've seen people asking like, Oh, how do you find all these bases? I have played this game way too long, and it's pretty easy to... People don't build on that many spots on Genesis. It's either, like, up in the tree, on an ocean pillar, or in the lunar caves. 
maybe on an ice pill on a snow pillar it's like there's not that many spots it could probably take you like 20 minutes to check them all these are terrible so i'm not even going to take those uh blood stalker eggs they got some blood bags though ouch what is that does he have a uh, he's a turret on top it looks like can't get to this generator And one more C4. Okay, he's got some dinos for sure. Look at all that. Dude, this guy is a grinder. Look at all this tech he has from Genesis 2. Some batteries. This guy has a bunch of stuff. Ascendant comp bow. Some more Golem Saddles, Astro BP. Dude, this guy's a straight grinder. He should have built somewhere better than this. An Ascendant Minigun. I wonder if that's good. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this base. All right, so I think that is where we're going to wrap it up for, uh, this season so we got some things going on IRL that I don't really want to uh, get into but I, I can't play ARC for a few weeks and so we are just going to be leaving this base as it is um, kind of a sad moment because we got pretty juicy up in this base even playing as like a solo we went on a bunch of raids and got a lot of dinos or some other good loot um, but yeah we're going to have to be saying goodbye to ARC Apocalypse at the moment uh, which is okay. I mean, it's fun to play on these servers just for a few days, and they're going to wipe eventually anyway. Um, but I'll kind of show you guys what we got here. Pretty stacked, honestly. For only... Look at all this tech and, and like, other stuff. For only playing for, like... I think we played for, like, uh, less than a week. Almost a week, though. Uh, that's where we're at right now, is with all this gear, all these dinos that we got. So, all in all, not really, uh, not really too bad. Um, and you can check out all these BPs as well. Um, so we, we're in a good spot. I definitely have speed running, I guess, Arc Apocalypse down if, uh, if I want to. Let's check out all these dinos, dude. We got like a whole page of dinos, some soakers, some DPS, some flyers, and we even have this, uh, an Astro with a saddle, which is crazy OP. They should definitely, uh, be needed, uh, needing tech engrams to ride these. There's no reason for them not to have tech engrams. It's really weird. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this uh, this Astro. So like the second day I was playing, I saw a guy flying around on one of these. I was like, are you kidding me? So kind of a bummer. That's another reason, man. Ugh. Genesis 2, it it really, really did some bad things to, to Ark. And this is a, a, a big thing with that. Alrighty, boys. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. Uh, pretty short season. But we had fun. I uh, hope you guys are still enjoying Arc and Arc Poc. I probably won't be on Arc Poc for another few months or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of, it's not that fun anymore. I'll be straight. Uh, just Arc in general is really kind of losing it for me. I don't know, boys. So we'll have to see what I end up doing. Not really a fan of any of the official servers at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see where we end up going with that and. Uh, I'll probably just do a few more things to the base, I don't know, just kind of mess around making it a little bit harder to raid, but that's going to wrap it up for us over here on Arc Apocalypse. So I hope you guys enjoy this season, we'll have to catch you guys in the next one. Peace, my dudes.